Hey guys, it's Ty here. Happy Monday. Uh, we're going to do a comparison of my subs today. Let's do a wristwatch check first. Got the Pepsi GMT on the wrist. Thank you for the feedback on the video yesterday, guys. Uh, we're going to stick with watches. I will throw a couple of sneaker videos in there just for those who are interested or curious. Um, so I want to just uh, talk about these two watches. We're going to give a couple of um, uh, differences and similarities, and then I'll talk about which one I would choose if I had to choose one. Now, the first thing that's pretty cool, I have the Kermit right here and this sub, uh, sub no date over here. Uh, there's about 11 year difference between the two watches. The Kermit's a 2007. The Submariner 114060 is a 2018. Now the boxes are different in color. I thought that was kind of neat. So you can see the older box has this uh, sort of darker forest green kind of look to it, really beautiful. And then the, uh, the newer Rolex box is uh, a, a brighter green, I guess you could say. Uh, and then also you can see here for the older one, this is where they put all of the uh, all the, the warranty card, all the materials there, the paper, the paperwork. Uh, for the newer one, you have this kind of thing going on. So a little bit of a difference. Uh, they're the same size. So let's look at the Kermit first. So I could put this down right here. And um, now the Kermit, as you guys probably know, has that aluminum, uh, green aluminum bezel, uh, um, of course, different than the, um, the uh, newer Submariner we're going to get to. The clasp is different. The bracelet is different. This is the older uh, 2007 bracelet. It does have the the flip lock, which is really cool uh, for a little bit more assurance on the wrist. Uh, but it is uh, it is a, an older style bracelet. I, I really love these bracelets, actually. I always thought this kind of looked like bricks or something. Uh, but I, I really like that uh, bracelet. It's very comfortable. Uh, really great bracelet. It does have the solid end links there. And the uh, similarities would be that it does have the uh, larger loom plots and hands like the, uh, the Submariner No Date. And uh, another similarity would be, well, of course, the solid end links and then the polished and the brushed surfaces are, are the same as the, uh, as the ceramic sub we're going to look at in just a moment. This one does have a date function, which is really cool. As you guys know, I prefer no date dials, uh, but you know, I, I do use that date when I, when I have it, I have to admit. Um, and I do like the, um, the Cyclops. Some people don't don't really enjoy it, but you know, I think it's sort of like uh, really gives it that uh, traditional Rolex look. You know, they've been putting Cyclops on there for more than 50, 60 years. So uh, that's the Kermit. That's the 50th anniversary, 2007. Beautiful watch. Absolutely love it. And now let's take a look at the uh, the Submariner, the, the, the no date sub. So uh, one of the biggest differences, of course, this has a black bezel. It is a ceramic bezel, uh, not aluminum. The loom plots, like I said, in the hands are large. They're the maxi, it's the maxi dial. So just like the, um, the Kermit, however, this has the maxi case. So, so the, the lugs, let me, let me grab that Kermit so you can see uh, how much thicker those lugs are, how much wider. Now, again, a lot of people are not fans of that. Honestly, guys, I prefer this case uh, design to the uh, the maxi case, uh, but on the wrist, you know, it, it, it really does give it some heft and some bulk, uh, which uh, for me just feels a little bit more masculine, you know, uh, and I do enjoy that. Um, so let's keep going here. We do have, uh, there's no date on this dial, uh, of course, and then the bracelet is probably the biggest difference. You guys know this has the glide lock system. Uh, where you can adjust up to 20 millimeters and it, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's, I've said this before, it's the best bracelet that I've ever owned, that I've ever worn. Um, I know there's some out there that, you know, there's, uh, there's some that have extra uh, sea dweller or, or the, uh, the deep sea, they have some extra things going on. But for me, this is perfect. I don't dive, so it's pretty awesome. And then of course, uh, these are all solid, uh, solid end links, this solid center links. Uh, and then it has, of course, the polished, and the brush surfaces, uh, amazing watch. And then of course this has the uh, updated movement as well. So um, pretty awesome. Uh, if I had to choose between the two, let's let's uh, bring this back a little bit. Um, if I had to choose between the two guys, I probably would choose the uh, Kermit uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's it's limited edition. It was only made for seven years. Uh, and then um, I, I really like that green bezel. That bezel is awesome. It's different. Um, and, I, and I actually prefer aluminum, aluminum bezeled watches. I, I do. I, I like the ceramic. It's cool. But um, I don't know. It, it feels a little flashy to me. And I'm a very understated kind of guy. So 
Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Which one would you choose? Share your thoughts below, and I will definitely talk to you soon.